Hello, soul family. My name is Gita, and welcome to your Pick a Card reading. So, the title of this video is going to be, What are they currently feeling about you? But before we get started, I'd just like to take a moment and thank everybody who has subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate you. And also, if you haven't subscribed, please consider it. I'd really appreciate it, and it really helps my channel grow. Um, also, in the video description is where you're going to find information on if you would like to get a private video reading and also in the video description is where you're going to find your timestamps. So this is going to be option number one with a clear quartz crystal, option number two with a rose quartz, option number three with the labradite, and option number four with a jasper. So you can go ahead and pause the video and take as long as you need, but I'm going to go ahead and get started and find out what they're currently feeling about you. All right, so here we are with option number one with the clear quartz crystal. And let's go ahead and find out what your person's currently feeling about you. All right, so please tell me what is option number one this person currently feeling about What is option number one this person currently feeling about them? All right, so first we have the Hermit in the reverse. Let's bring it over. I could probably get this here. And then we have option number one is person currently feeling. We have the Seven of Cups. What is option number one is person currently feeling? Healing. We have the Emperor. What is option number one? This person currently feeling. We have the Seven of Swords in the reverse. What is option number one? This person currently feeling. All right, clarifying the Hermit in the reverse, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Clarifying the Seven of Cups. We have the Hanged Man in the reverse. Clarifying the Emperor. We have the Queen of Swords. And clarifying the Seven of Swords in the reverse, we have the Five of Pentacles in the reverse. Option number one this person currently feeling about them. What is option number one this person currently feeling about them? Clear point the ten of pentacles, please. Clear point the ten of pentacles. We have girl talk. Find the hanging in the reverse, please. We have heart with the key. Clarify the queen of swords, please. We have the dragonfly. Clarify the five of pentacles in the reverse. We have Cupid's arrow. Please tell me what is option number one's person currently feeling about him? What is option number one's person currently All right, so we have Judge. What is option number one's person currently 
Victim. There's option number one's person currently feeling about them. Warrior. There's option number one's person currently feeling about them. We also have seeker. So the signs that are going to be associated with this reading is going to be Virgo, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Libra, Taurus, and Aquarius. All right, so what is your person currently feeling? And I'm going to be using charms and messages from your person, so... Don't worry about that. What's your person currently feeling about you? I'm saying that uh, your person is trying to reflect on potentially a commitment. I don't know, like, I could say it would be money if this is, like, not a romantic thing. But I feel like it's saying that this person needs time to reflect on a commitment and their legacy. It says, girl talk, time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, and having fun. I feel like that this person is either they're happily single or they're moving on from something else, but they're also trying, you know, this is like a non-committal energy, right? Uh, they're just having fun or whatever, but... that they could be thinking this about you as well. But for a lot of you, I'm feeling that um, this is them. And what they're feeling is that they're thinking about um, a commitment with you, but I think they're trying to have fun for now. You know, they're not trying to act like they're trying to have a commitment right now, but they are thinking about it. Let's see, the Seven of Cups is, can indicate a decision I think that, you know, the hangman in the reverse, I think that <clears throat> they're kind of feeling like a victim. They have all these things going on. They're not sure which way they should turn, what they could do. They have, I, I feel like they're, they're having like limited thoughts, but they feel like it's almost like they're cursed or something. When it comes to love. I feel like that they want to find the right person. And this person, I feel like, isn't somebody who's going to just give their heart away very easily. So, they want to, like, I feel like that you might be a choice of more than one person for some of you. With the Seven of Cups, this person could have a lot of options. Or has had a lot of options in the past. That he does want to take control and he wants to tell you how he feels he wants to speak his truth to you i feel like it's gonna things are gonna come to light mm -hmm. in this situation i feel like that a lot of you it's going to be this person who's going to say it to you now there's a couple of you that you might hear it from someone else through some kind of gossip but for a lot of you it's going to be like this person's coming towards you. I feel like this person's going to be taking action to you, towards you and telling you how they feel. I feel like they're going to it, confess their feelings. With the seven of swords in the reverse, it can talk about confessing your feelings. And with the five of pentacles in the reverse, that means that this person is feeling, you know, they're, they're feeling left out in the cold, but with the five of pentacles in the reverse, it means they're wanting an improvement of that feeling. So I feel like they might actually, they might be acting like they're not really wanting to commit, but they're actually thinking about it. And I feel like that they, a lot of them, they want to come clean and tell you that they have love with you, that they love you. 
It says having faith, love is coming, surprise, invitation, or meeting. So I feel like they might surprise you. See right here, victim. That's what that, the hangman. It says, prevents you from letting yourself be victimized or victimizing others. And I just, I feel like that this person is being a victim or they're feeling like a victim. And I feel like that's part of the reason why they feel like they don't come towards you. It says, judge, balancing justice and compassion, managing the fair distribution of power. I'm really feeling like that they're worried that you're going to judge them. With Seeker, it says, thirst for wisdom and truth wherever they are. They don't, I don't, it's like they, they know that you want to hear the truth and that you'll always seek the truth with Warrior. And that it says, strength, skill, discipline, and toughness of will, heroism, stoicism, and self-sacrifice and conquering the ego. So, I feel like they might confess how they're feeling because they have faith that they, they that you're a good person, that you always want to, you know, that you might hear them out. I feel like they might be afraid that you're judging them. I feel like that a lot of you won't judge them in that way. So let's go ahead and see what the charms have to say. the charms have to say. Please tell me what is option number one person currently feeling about them? What is option number one person currently feeling about them? What is option number one person currently feeling about them? Ooh, that's a lot of charms came out. Alright, so we have a bed and we have a pirate. Looks like they want to steal them some booty. All right, let's see what we got here. There's a lot of fear. So we have 777. Somebody, be, Some of you might be getting that synchronicity. We have May. Maybe somebody has a birthday in May. There could have been something that happened in May, at least for some of you. We have pissed. So it looks like somebody might be pissed off. We have sex. So this person has sexual feelings towards you. We also have DNS, which is, stands for Dark Knight of the Soul. So I feel like that he might not, he or she might not be having a very good time. We have Earth, so some of you could be Earth signs. We have Waiting. We also have Fantasy. Free, sad, oh, I ended up with a lot more than I thought I was going to have. We have angels, so that means like, I feel like that angels are interfering, they're, they're guiding the connection. We have goals, so this person, when they're, they're feeling like they have goals in that, with you and that they would be successful with you. We have 111, which again is about synchronicity. We also have March. So if some of you could have some kind of thing with March. I got the letter V. And then I have some smaller letters and I have a number, the number three. Is this other one? We have the letter E, V, E, and three. All right, let's see what these little cards are. We have the Seven of Cups, the Seven of Wands. 
the Eight of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, the Three of Cups, the Ten of Wands. Where is that? All those. All right, I got them all. Let me see what it's saying. So, some of you could be a friend with this person. So, like, maybe you guys are friends and they're going to confess how they're feeling. That's not going to be for everybody. You're going to know who you are. But this person, again, the Seven of Cups, you know, that was really central in the other cards that we had. And with the Seven of Cups is in there as well. So, I feel like they're wanting to make a decision with the Seven of Wands that they're trying to stand up for how they're feeling. And I feel like that they have feelings for you. With the Eight of Wands, I feel like very soon. Probably maybe even within a week for some of you that you might have something happen. I feel like this person is trying to juggle their feelings. But I don't think they're going to last much longer. We have Watch for God. So that's a, you know, the signs and synchronicities are showing up. So I feel like this is divinely guided. We have Be Fierce. Maybe he's trying to be fierce. He's probably getting signs and synchronicities too. We have don't let anyone dull your sparkle. We have cancer. So some of you could be a cancer. Also something that could happen in that time, which is in summertime, June, July. We have imaginative on the back. And we have this whale tail, or it's a mermaid tail, whichever one you like to call it. Let me know in the comments below <laughs> what you think it should be, if it looks more like a whale tail or a mermaid's tail. Either way, I feel like that's a like, kind of nod to Pisces. So some of you could be a Pisces, or it just could be about water size in general. We have a star with a fairy. So I feel like that they still have hope and that you are wish fulfillment. We have this little rocking horse, so children could be involved in the situation for some of you, or maybe they want to have children with you. We have this fairy. This fairy, I only have one, but I, it seems like it comes out constantly. But but um, I feel like the angels are watching over the connection. We have this rose. The rose, you know, it could be trying to talk about romance and gifts and flattery. Um, maybe they are going to want to do that soon. Also, you know, for uh, June, the roses is, is the flower for the birth month, uh, the, birth, the birth month flower, whatever, for when you're born. We have this cross, and the cross, you know, can indicate suffering and faith. We also have aim high and you know both of these things have arrows on them you know you got the be fierce and the aim high i feel like that that they're kind of pointing towards you we have a spider so there is fear and anxiety in the situation we have a whale again a nod to the water signs there and we also have a bird with its wings out, incoming message. So they're probably wanting to send you a message. All right, please tell me what is option number one for this one currently feeling. We have money and fairy. Hmm. Maybe they're trying to manifest money or abundance. They may be feeling like the connection is magical. So there is your charms, and let's go ahead and see if I get all of them. Yeah, let's see what messages they have for you. Please tell me what is option number one's person I want to say to them, what do they want them to know? Peter needs to calm down. 
What is option number one's person want to say to them? What do they want them to know? Please tell me what is option number one's person want to say to them? What do they want them to know? person want to say to them? What do they want them to know? What is option number one's person? That one flipped over. I'm not seeing it. I felt it. I guess not. What is option number one's person want to say to them? What do they want them to know? What is option number one's person want to say to them? What do they want them to know? Is option number one's person want to say to them what do they want them to know? Not really going for a number here. Just trying to go through the whole deck. What's option number one's person want to say to them what do they want them to know? What is option number one's person want to say to them what do they want them to know? What is option number one's person want to say to them what do they want them to know? All right. Uh, all right. So the first one says, I imagine kissing you next time I see you. The next one says, I can't decide what I want or what's right. I think you're lying. We have, I fantasize about your touch. I see little parts of you and everyone I see. I am always trying not to think about you. I wish I fought harder for us. After meeting you, I will never be the same. You have changed my life. I am very sad. I think about leaving the karmic for you. I'm playing you. I'm afraid of the karmic. I am not being honest with others about you. Please wait for me. The karmic and I have been fighting over you. And then you did get a bonus card. I want you for your money. Or it doesn't mean that they only want money from you, but they, they want, they're attracted to your abundance. Anyways, that's all that I have for option number one. If you like this kind of reading, please give the video a thumbs up. I appreciate it and it helps me out. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and then hit the bell notification. And if you'd like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the video description below. All right, well, thank you very much. I'm going to go ahead now and move on to option number two. All right, so here we are with option number two with the rose quartz. And let's go ahead and find out. Find out what your person is currently feeling about you. Please tell me what is option number two's person currently feeling about them. What is option number two's person currently feeling about them? <clears throat> we have the Knight of Swords in the reverse. We have the Queen of Swords in the reverse. We have the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Page of Wands.
then clarifying them. And it's option number two or something. Okay, about them. All right, clarifying the Knight of Swords and the reverse, we have the Ten of Swords and the reverse. Clarifying the Queen of Swords in the reverse. <clears throat> we have the Four of Pentacles. Clarifying the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Knight of Pentacles. And clarifying the Page of Wands. We also have the Ace of Swords. Please tell me what is option number two this person currently feeling about them. Please tell me what is option number two this person currently feeling about them. Need one more. Alright, clarify the ten of swords in the reverse, please. Clarify the ten of swords in the reverse. We have stabbed in the back. Clarify the four of pentacles, please. Clarify the four of pentacles. We have the snake. Clarify the knight of pentacles, please. Clarify the knight of pentacles. We have hammer. Clarifying the Ace of Swords. Please clarify the Ace of Swords. We have Wedding Rings. And now I'm going to do the Archetype cards. Please tell me what is option number two. This person currently feeling about them. What is option number two. This person currently feeling about them. Number two, this person currently feeling about them. We have artist. What is option number two? This person currently feeling about them. We have slave. <clears throat> what is option number two? This person currently feeling about them. We have damsel. Number two, this person currently feeling. And we also have Saboteur. Alright, so what is your person currently feeling? I am going to be doing charms and messages. Uh, make sure you stick around for those. <clears throat> so the signs that could be associated with this reading is we pretty much got all the air signs here. So have all the all of the earth signs any air sign any earth sign a little fire there's a little fire okay I would name signs but it's like it's very general from what I could see so it looks like somebody said something okay and your person is looking for a fresh start I don't know who said it but we have it stabbed in the back. So your person is feeling stabbed in the back. They're feeling a heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack. And maybe all of them or just one of those words. Someone said something. Either it was you or them. Um, whoever is most likely an air sign. So if you're an air sign, that can increase the chances of it being you. That it potentially said that. Whatever it is. That has happened between the both of you. We have the snake. It says competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder, the other woman. All right, the queen of swords. There could be some gossip that is going on. And I feel like your person is scrounging for stability. They could 
They could be having money problems as well. That could be part of what's being gossiped about. But it might not be. I feel like that it could be very well stability. Um, also, I feel like somebody may have said something. Very, very cutting words. If it wasn't. Oh, this is a lot of sharp words. Let's see. Yeah. So the Ace of Pentacles. Your person wants a, a healthy new beginning. I don't know if it is with you. It could, it could not be. We have hammer, sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, working on it. I feel like that. A stable offer. Hmm. Also, just so you know, the things that were said could have something to do with a third party. Okay, so you may not have said something. It could have been that say someone said something in in their group if there's a third party situation. And that could this is like a couple scenarios that could be a little bit different. Okay, because this where this is headed is this person looking for somebody and realizing. That I feel like that they might be realizing that they are interested in you, and especially if there's a third party situation. I don't have any threes here, but if it's a third party situation, they this very well could be the scenario that's happening with something else or someone else. It is possible because it's like there's no threes, but we have the snake. This is competition and the other woman, so. Usually means there's somebody else potentially. So that could have been who did the gossiping and that could have something to do with you. It could be some relation in that between the both of you. But it, I, because it feels like it's progression towards you. When the healthy new beginning. Um, also, page of wands is inspiration. You know, feeling inspired towards you, realizing the truth. And we have wedding rings, union, wedding, married, soul connection, everlasting promise. So it kind of feels like either that they're moving away from something else and towards you. Especially since like half of them is about a new beginning. All right. What do we have? We have artist. Okay. So somebody could be an artist. It says expressing a dimension in life that is just beyond the five senses, inspiring others to see life symbolically. I feel like that you have inspired this person to see life more symbolically with this page of wands. We have slaves surrendering your power of choice to the divine with complete trust. They see you in this way. Someone who's really, you have a lot of faith in the divine. And then we also have damsel. This one says, understanding the nature of healthy romance inspires you to rely on yourself. See, so what I'm getting is like damsel is about like in the, in the upright it's about, um, you know, it's like you know how to have a healthy relationship. They, they, they think that. They think that you know how to be, how to be someone who has a healthy relationship. And I feel like that what it is looking like is that they're leaving something toxic and they're coming towards you. Something healthy because they want a healthy new beginning. <clears throat> we have saboteur. It says highlights your fear of self-empowerment and the changes it would bring to your life. So that's what they say, you know, that's what they see. They like, they feel like that you have highlighted their fear of self-empowerment and like taking charge of what they want in their life. All right, let's see what the charms have to say. Tell me what is option number two is person. What is they currently feeling about them? What is option number two is person currently feeling about them? What is option number two is person currently feeling about them? Alright, just like I said, he stuck to my hand. 
we have the Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment, and a musical note, Raising a Vibration. It could be talking about raising your vibration or even songs. Maybe there's some songs that are connecting the both of you. So we do have Angry. So your person could be angry. doesn't necessarily mean that they're angry at you. We have Scorpio. So somebody could be a Scorpio in this connection. We have May. Somebody could have a birthday in May. So there could be some significance to May. We have DNS, which is Dark Night of the Soul. So somebody could be going through that. I feel like that they could be potentially. We have 222. So there's signs of synchronicities. And we have Pissed. This person is in a bad mood. I feel like they're pissed at somebody else or something like that. They're pissed maybe something about to do with gossip. We have the letter Z. We have this angel. Or not angel. I call it an angel. It may as well. But um, it means to me angels are looking over this scenario. Trying to bring the best outcome. We also have the three of wands. I kind of want a little bit more than this. This is option number two person. Currently feeling. I got too many last one. Alright, we also have healthy. See, healthy new beginning. We have karmic. So some of you could, there, your person could be dealing with a karmic or there could be some kind of karmic involved. <clears throat> we have November. So maybe something will happen in the connection in November. We have get together. So your person, you could want, you could end up getting together or they could want to get together. We have 333. That can be, you know, that, that is synchronicity, but also it can be meaning that there's a third party situation. We also have love. So while your person may be pissed, they do love you. All right, so after the letter Z, because I want to more letters, we have the letter S, the letter L, the letter N, and the letter R. So there you are. By the way, when you have these letters, you can add your own vowels, you know. This could be just your different words without vowels. So just add vowels and see if you could spell anything. All right, so besides the three of wands, We have the Nine of Wands, the Ten of the Queen of Pentacles. So this person is feeling guarded and they're thinking about the future. We have a pine cone. So the pine cone, I feel like that is about that could indicate the dark note of the soul. Actually, I have assigned a new meaning to this, this pine cone, and that is the meaning of um, being connected to the pineal gland, because it looks like it. I feel like there could be like a telepathic connection between the both of you. We have a big heart. So they definitely could feel like that they, that you have a big heart. We have a fan, which could be about celebration, romance, parties. We have it shine bright like a diamond. So they might see you as somebody who shines bright like a diamond. We also have a ballerina. Also, they could be seeing you as somebody who has a lot of grace. So me actually, actually may literally dance as well. If you're a dancer, let me know in the comments below. So we have an airplane. Okay, this can indicate maybe some of you at a great distance. And they, you, they have to travel by air to get to you. If not, uh, it could also indicate overcoming obstacles. Okay. It also can indicate just wanting to travel with you. All right. So please tell me what is option number two person. Oh, look at, we got right here and the one that fell out ego. What is option number two person currently feeling about them? We have nine of cups, so they they are feeling like you know you are wish fulfillment currently. They're pissed, but I don't feel like it could be at you. We also have a tool. We have tools, 
So I feel like that they're working on something in your connection. So here's your charms. And now let's go ahead and see what they want to say to you. Please tell me what is option number two is person who wants to say to them? What do they want them to know? What is option number two is person who wants to say to them? What do they want them to know? What is option number two is person who wants to say to them? What is option number two is person who wants to say to them? What do they want them to know? Please tell me what is option number two is person who wants to say to them? What do they want them to know? What is option number two? Does person want to say to them? What do they want them to know? What is option number two? Does person want to say to them? What do they want them to know? What is option number two? Does person want to say to them? What is option number two? Is person want to say to them? What do they want them to know? What is option number two? Is person want to say to them? What is option number two? Is person want to say to them? What do they want them to know? What is option number two? Is person want to say to them? What do they want them to know? Let's see what they want to say. The first one, he says, you are haunting me. We also have, I don't think you're the one for me. I'm sorry. Just because they're saying that, go by what all the cards say. Okay. I have plenty of cards like this. So this could be a thought that they kicked around in their brain. Doesn't mean they actually want that. Maybe some of you, they do. But it doesn't necessarily mean they do just because it came up. Okay, just so you know. I can feel you running through my veins. See, this sounds like a twin flame connection or something. <clears throat> I am worried you will stab me in the back. Yeah, and by the way, I could tell by the cards that this person could be very fearful. I am talking to other people romantically. I'm afraid you won't find me attractive. I think we're soulmates. I'm having a lot of problems with my family. I do things to purposely make you jealous. Don't give up. See. I feel like they might even be saying that for some of you, they might be saying that to themselves. This relationship isn't going to work for me. It's not personal. You're so good and I'm so bad. So this person feels like they are a bad person in comparison to you. That you're a much better person than they are. I'm not sure if you could ever forgive me. Your energy is intoxicating. We also have leaving the karmic would cause too many problems. So that might be... Why they, they think that they can't be with you. Anyways, that's all that I have for option number two. If you like this kind of reading, please give the video a thumbs up. I appreciate it. It helps me out. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and then hit the bell notification. And if you'd like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the video description below. All right, well, thank you very much. I'm going to go ahead and now move on to option number three. All right, so here we are with option number three with the Labradite. And let's go ahead and find out what your person is currently feeling about you. Please tell me what is option number three's person currently feeling about them? What is option number three's person currently feeling about them? 
What is option number three? This person is currently. All right. So first we have the high priestess in the reverse. This person currently feeling about them. We have the Empress in the reverse. That's option number three. This person currently feeling. We have Temperance in the reverse. That's option number three. This person currently feeling. We have the Eight of Wands. All right, and clarifying them. What is option number three? This person is currently feeling. Clarifying the high priestess in the reverse. We have the ace of cups. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. This is a good one. I like this one. Clarifying the empress in the reverse. We have the page of wands. Clarifying temperance in the reverse. We have death in the reverse. Clarifying the eight of wands. We have the magician. It's kind of funny, death is a vacuum cleaner. All right. What is option number three? This person currently feeling. Option number three. This person currently feeling. What is option number three? This person currently feeling. Clarify the Ace of Cups, please. Clarify the Ace of Cups, please. We have Healing Heart. <clears throat> Clarify the Page of Wands, please. We have the Dragonfly. Clarify Death in the Reverse, please. We have Addiction. Clarify the Magician, please. We have Heartbroken. We get some Archetype cards, and I am going to be doing Messages and Charms. Make sure you stick around for those. What is option number three? This person currently feeling about them. <clears throat> Please tell me what is option number three? This person currently feeling about them. What is option number three? This person currently feeling. We have poet. <clears throat> what is option number three? This person currently feeling. We have mediator. What is option number three? This person currently feeling. We have victim. Number three, this person currently feeling. We have a lover. All right, so what's your person feeling? Let's see, the signs that could be associated with this reading is going to be you pretty much have any water signs with the high priestess, it's Cancer. We, we have the Empress, which is Taurus, Temperance, Sagittarius. Uh, a page of wands can be any fire sign. Death is Scorpio, the magician, Gemini. The eight of wands is another Sagittarius card. So there's a good, there's a nice healthy nod towards Sagittarius in this pile. So the high priestess and the reverse, the ace of cups. This person secretly is falling in love with you. 
It says healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. I can see that. I see, uh, I see you have the addiction card here as well. So maybe some are actually suffering from some sort of addiction as well. person in the reverse the page of wands this person i feel like that they they think of you as the empress but i feel like they're hiding it i feel like that's why it's in the reverse <clears throat> this person really feels very passionately towards you i feel like they are trying to be lighthearted, and also it is saying that finding out things coming to light so things will come to light in this situation with temperance, uh, sorry, my table so squeaky. I don't know what's going on. We have, um, but temperance and the reverse. I, I feel like it's saying that they're unable to compromise. Some some situation with you, because of this addiction card, and death. Death in the reverse can indicate. Like a refusal to let something die. So I feel like that. There's something that they have. They have some kind of codependent obsession. Possession. Controlling. Has block or restraint. This is a lot like the devil card. Right? They have some kind of block or restraint. For some of you it's going to be different things. It's going to be like a third party situation. For some of you, it's going to be like work or distance or there's all sorts of things. Okay. It's just a restriction. It can come in many forms. We have the Eight of Wands. So I feel like it's trying to say really soon they could be wanting to communicate with you. They are trying to manifest something. For some of you, I feel like they might be trying to manifest visiting you. It, the Eight of Wands can indicate air travel or just traveling and communication. It is passionate, ra rapid moving energy. We have deeply hurts, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, and mourning. I feel like they might communicate that to you really soon, that they're feeling this way. We have poet, it says exposes soul insight in symbolic language. And we have mediator. Um, gift for negotiating fairness and strategy in personal and professional life. Respect for both sides of an argument. I don't know if there's been any conflict, but there is something that is holding them back, which I feel like that is a conflict. I feel like this person... I feel like that it, this information is going to come to light soon. And media, you know, it's like about, I see you in this way, being able to respect both sides of an argument. I feel like that they, they respect both sides of the argument with you as well. They, they respect your side. They respect their own side. They, they can see your perspective. I'm feeling like it's trying to say. We have victim. Prevent you from letting yourself be victimized or victimizing others. I feel like they're seeing themselves as the victim in this situation. I don't know. I feel like that is part of what is restraining a lot of them. And then we have lover. Great passion and devotion. Unbridled appreciation of someone or something. This person does see you as a lover. I feel like that they feel that way. They have great passion and devotion towards you or it's going to be you. So let's go ahead and see what the charms have to say. And I'm going to be doing messages as well. Thank you. 
please tell me what is option number three's person currently feeling about them? What is option number three's person currently feeling about them? Please tell me what is option number three's person been... Oh, I just threw everything out there. What is option number three's person currently feeling about them? What is option number three's person currently feeling? We have one dice and it's a ball, which is about playfulness. We have month. So something could happen within a month with you guys. We have get together. So maybe they want to get together in a month. We have Sagittarius. So some of you could, again, I was getting strong Sagittarius vibes. As more confirmation, if you or your person is Sagittarius, we have anxious. So your person's feeling anxious. We have transform. They're wanting to maybe transform the connection. But, you know, with that death in the reverse, I feel like that they could be, I don't know, trying to not allow it. We have self-love. We also have dream. So this person could be having a dream about you. We have the letter C. The letter F. And the letter W. We also have the Eight of Swords. The Two of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles. And the Seven of Wands. I think that's one of them. So I feel like this person does have limited thoughts and currently they're trying to juggle more than one thing. I feel like that they see that they could have a commitment with you, um, a legacy with you, a seven of wands. And I feel like that I can't, I don't know. I just have a strong feeling that they kind of want to stand up for the connection. Or they're may, maybe feeling like you're the one who's trying to stand up for the connection. We have watch for God. So that's about seeing signs of synchronicity. So your person could be doing that. Seeing signs of synchronicities about your connection. We have shine bright like a diamond. So they do feel like maybe that you shine bright like a diamond. We have singer sewing machine. I feel like this could be about mending things. So maybe you guys are currently having an issue and they're wanting to mend the connection. We have a diamond that is blue. I feel like this is about the throat chakra, which is about communication. I feel like that they're wanting to communicate. And with the key, they could be wanting to open up to you. Then we also have cancer. And on the back, it says imaginative. Then we also have this tree of life, which for me is about it being a high level soul connection. And also that you're part of the same soul family. We have this cat watching with their eyes big and wide. I feel like that they are, some of you, they may be single or maybe they're watching you be single. I feel like that there's a lot of watching you. And we have an airplane. The airplane can indicate, you know, an you know, overcoming obstacles, but also some of you could live at distance and they might have to travel a long distance to see you or they could want to travel with you. Please tell me what is option number three's person been feeling about them. And we have a bed, which can indicate dreaming or sex, whatever. What do you think goes on in a bed? Let me know in the comments below. Anyways, here's your charms. And now let's go ahead and see what messages they have for you. I mix up a little bit so they get extra mixed up in between. Sometimes it feels like the same ones want to keep coming out. All 
right, please tell me what does option number three's person want to say to them? What do they want them to know? What does option number three's person want to say to them? What do they want them to know? Please tell me what does option number three's person want to say to them? What do they want them to know? Please tell me what does option number three's person want to say to them? What do they want them to know? What does option number three's person want to say to them? What do they want them to know? What does option number three's person want to say to them? What do they want them to know? What does option number three's person want to say to them? What do they want them to know? Like some keep trying to flip over on me, but they're not coming out. What does option number three's person want to say to them? What do they want them to know? What does option number three's person want to say to them? What do they want them to know? What does option number three's person want to say to them? What do they want them to know? A bunch are flying over here. to them what they want them to know what does option number three is person want to say to them what do they want them to know what does option number three is person want to say to them that's too many what does option number three is person want to say to them what do they want them to know What does option number three's person want to say to them? What do they want them to know? What does option number three's person want to say to them? What do they want them to know? What does option number three's person want to say to them? What do they want them to know? I feel like there's more in the other. What does option number three's person want to say to them? What do they want them to know? All right, let's see what we have. All right, so first we have many of my friends don't like you. You make me believe in true love. I'm having a lot of problems with my friends. You scare me. You're so unpredictable. And then we have the karmic and I have been fighting over you. I see little parts of you and everyone I see. I'm too worried about what everyone thinks about me. I'm talking to other people romantically. I want to hear from you. I miss you. I'm afraid of the karmic. I put a protection spell on you. And if they're not the kind of person who would do a spell on someone, then they have protective intentions towards you. I have a dirty secret. I'm very sad. I think you're lying. I fantasize about your touch. It's not your fault you did nothing wrong. I think you cursed me. It's your bonus cards. And I want to find true happiness. Anyways, that's all that I have for option number three. If you like this kind of reading, please give the video a thumbs up. I appreciate it and it helps me out. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and then hit the bell notification. And if you'd like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the video description below. All right, well, thank you very much. I'm going to go ahead and now move on to option number four. All right, so here we are with option number four with the Jasper. And let's go ahead and find out 
what your person is currently feeling about you. Please tell me what is option number four's person currently feeling about them? What is option number four's person currently feeling about them? All right, so first we have the five of spirals. The spirals are wands. What is option number four's person currently feeling about them? We have the ace of mirrors, mirrors or cups. What is option number four's person currently feeling? We have the five of stones, stones or pentacles in the reverse. What is option number four's person currently feeling? We have the visionary, the knight of scrolls in the reverse. Scrolls are swords. Please tell me what is option number. What is option number four? Is person currently feeling about them? What is option number four? Is person currently feeling about them? All right, clarify the five of spirals, please. We have the Knight of Mirrors in the reverse. Hmm. Clarify the Ace of Mirrors in the reverse. We have the Eight of Mirrors in the reverse. <clears throat> Clarify the Five of Stones in the reverse. We have Justice. And clarifying the Knight of Swords in the reverse. We have the Empress in the reverse. What is option number four's person currently feeling about them? Please tell me what is option number four's person currently feeling about them. What is option number four's person currently feeling about them? Clarify the Knight of Mirrors in the reverse, please. Clarify the Knight of Mirrors. We have Mask. And another card came out too, the Golden Mirror. Clarify the Eight of Mirrors in the reverse, please. We have Abundance. Clarify Justice, please. Clarify Justice. Justice, please. Talking. Clarify the Empress in reverse, please. Clarify the Empress. We have engagement ring. Now for the archetype cards, please tell me what is option number four person currently feeling about them. What is option number four is person currently feeling? Make sure you stick around because I am giving you charms and messages as well. What is option number four is person currently feeling? We have mediator. What is option number four is person currently feeling? We have prostitute. What is option number four is person currently feeling? Feeling about them. We have damsel. What's option number four? Is person currently feeling? We have Don Juan. All right, so let's see what's going on here. So the signs that could be associated with this reading is going to be, so you got Leo, Pisces, Aquarius, pretty much any water sign is going on here with the Ace of Mirrors in the reverse, Scorpio, Taurus, Libra, Taurus, and got pretty much any air sign here. 
with justice. And I don't know, it's very strong towards Libra. So I'm going to go mostly with Libra on the air signs. All right, so what's your person currently feeling? Let's see, it's a five of spirals. There's a conflict. They're feeling conflicted between maybe giving you some kind of love offer because the Knight of Cups is right here and it's in the reverse. So I think that they're thinking about giving you a love offer. They're conflicted about it though. I feel like with masks, they're saying that they're not showing their true feelings and they feel like that is potentially like this could be a one-sided relationship or you could be feeling that way or they could be thinking that you feel like that. Because this is clarifying this. I do feel like they're not showing their true feelings, but I don't know. I just feel like they think that this is a one-sided relationship. Yeah. I feel like that they, like, I don't feel like that they think that you're interested in them really. From what I'm seeing here. See the Ace of Cups in reverse, the Eight of Swords, the Eight of Cups in reverse. But this person, I don't feel like that they really want to walk away. For some of you, I don't. They, I don't feel like they want to walk away. I feel like that they are they're in love with you and they're hiding it, or they're trying to ignore it. They're trying to act like they're not, or they're trying to pretend like they're not for themselves. Even for some, I feel like they might even be trying to convince themselves that they aren't. But see the Eight of Mirrors in the reverse. Some of them, they could be trying to avoid you because of this as well. They could be trying to focus on maybe money or something like that. We have keep a positive mindset, manifest exactly what you want, gratitude and bliss. Also, I feel like that some of them... They still, they still feel like they're, they're not walking away from it. They're just trying to ignore their feelings and try to focus on... They could be trying to ignore, ignore the feelings and not feeling like this is a... Like feeling like it's a one-sided relationship. They try to ignore that feeling. But they're trying to feel it. Ignore the feelings that they have like romantically for you. That's going to be a little bit different for everybody. But we have the Five of Stones. The Five of Pentacles in reverse talks about feeling left out in the cold, but in the reverse, it can indicate an uptick, an uptake in, event, in events. I feel like they want to, they do want to be fair with you. They are interested in hearing from you. They're interested in talking to you and hearing from you. It says interested in conversing more. They're not totally closed off to you or anything like that. I think that they just don't think that you're really interested in them. And uh, we have a weighted message that arrives, text, call, email, and hovering. Let's see. The Knight of Swords. I feel like that they could be concerned with a... They could be concerned with another um, potential person. Yeah, I feel like they're, they might be um, kind of holding a flame for somebody else. It doesn't mean that they're actually with the person necessarily. Some of you, they might be. But I feel like that they, for some of you, they, they might hold a flame for someone else. But they might not be in communication at person. So, I don't know, maybe... If you came around and they actually thought that you're interested in them, maybe they behave differently or feel differently or something. Maybe you should give them some kind of sign. All right, so we have mediator. It says gift for negotiating fairness and strategy in personal and professional life. Respect for both sides of an argument. They could be thinking of you in this way that, that you have respect for both sides or you're a very good mediator. We also have prostitute. It doesn't mean they actually think you're a prostitute. It's in the light. It says Accentuates the challenge of surviving without negotiating the power of your spirit. So it's tr basically trying to say 
that you're not selling out. I don't know if there's things going on with money in your situation. It's going to be a little bit different for everybody. We have Damsel. It says, understanding the nature of a healthy romance inspires you to rely on yourself. I feel like that you or them, they could be thinking this about you. Or this could be what you're thinking about them. I feel like it, it feels like this is them. Um, that they understand it, the nature of a healthy romance. You know, so they know how to be in a healthy connection. Also, I feel like that they could be thinking that you know how to be in a healthy connection. And if so, then that would part of partially be what's desirable about you. We have spotlight your positive, seductive qualities. Don Juan. So I feel like that they're thinking that, you know, that really, that you're very, that they actually do see you as seductive. And I feel like they do have, there is some kind of attraction for them towards you. But again, they don't think that you're attracted to them. All right, so let's go ahead and see what the charms have to say. Option number four is person currently feeling about them. Hmm. Option number four is person currently feeling about them. We have the Seven of Swords and the Mop. Seven of Swords can indicate deception. They might be thinking that you're being deceptive or some of them might be being deceptive, but also it can indicate strategizing, you know? And with mop, it can indicate, you know, like trying to clean up something, maybe clean something emotional. They could be trying to heal. We have trauma. So there could be some trauma going on. We have Aries. So some of you could be in Aries or something could happen in the time of Aries. We have anxious. So they could be very anxious around you. Maybe you make them nervous because they are attracted to you. We have sexy, so they might be thinking that or feeling that you're very sexy. We have health, so health could be a factor, but also as it was saying before that, you know, about healthy relationships, healthy new beginnings. We have angry, so they might be angry. And we have calm, so that's kind of funny. We did counterdict yourself. We have the queen of pentacles. We have the Ace of Cups. They are feeling nurturing towards you. I do feel like that they have love for you. They care about you. Also, the Three of Pentacles can indicate wanting to like kind of work together. Or uh, some of you might actually work together. The Three of Pentacles could be in the same line of work as well. But also, it's about like cooperation and teamwork. We have the Ten of Cups. So, I mean, they do feel, like, happy. They're not mad at you, other than this uh, angry. But sometimes when this come out, doesn't necessarily mean that they're angry at you. We have the King of Cups. That is that calm. And the King of Cups, again, I guess they're really calm. And we have the Eight of Swords. All right. So let me see. Like I do feel like that ultimately they're they're not really unhappy with you. They have the Ten of Cups, so they're very pleased with you. Um, but they feel very like loving, affectionate feelings towards you, but they're feeling limited with that Eight of Swords. They're feeling like limited thoughts. So again, they, they don't feel like that you're attracted to them or anything like that. We have cancer. So some of you, your person could be a cancer, and then we have imaginative. On the back and then we have a clothes hanger which talks about a changing um maybe your, your your person's gone through a change or there's some kind of change that is coming 
Um, also, some of you might be into clothes making, I'm hearing. That's not for everybody, okay? Uh, but I'm just picking that up. We have with the Singer sewing machine and the clothes hanger. And we actually have two sewing machines. So they're really wanting to mend this connection. I only have two sewing machines, so they've never both came out before. So two sewing machines. They really wanted to either, I feel like it almost like it's a more of a creative energy. They Either they're wanting to mend things or create. We have Taurus, so some of you could be a Taurus. It's kind of interesting because I'm a Cancer and I have a Taurus moon. So I always like ding, ding, ding when my, <laughs> when my signs come here. We have Trustworthy on the back. We have be fierce. So this your person is trying to be fierce in this in this situation. We have a mouse with a little heart. So the mouse always looks like they're handing their heart to somebody. So I always think that they they are shyly giving you their heart. We have a ballerina. So they might be thinking that you're very graceful, or maybe somebody's tiptoeing around something. We have a tree. Tree can talk about health. Also, family. That could be part of the situation. We didn't get any letters. All right. And then we have the moon. I'm hearing dream. I feel like this person could have had dreams about you. Also, I'm hearing that some of them are very intuitive. All right. I'm going to pick out some letters. I'm not going to look. I know you can't see me, but I want to just pick out random letters. Oh. I'd rather it be a surprise. I don't really have any. I want some letters. Does it feel authentic if I'm not looking away? <laughs> hmm, there's a lot of A's here. All right, so we have F, A, Y. We have S. Uh, we could sp spell say A, I. And let me roll these one more time. Please tell me what is option number four is person currently feeling. The five of pentacles. They're feeling left out in the cold. And the bed. Maybe it's been a minute since they got anything. Or also they could be, I don't know, a bed. Bed can indicate like sleeping, dreaming, sex, all sorts of stuff. All right. Let's see what kind of messages they want to say to you. Please tell me what does option number four's person want to say to them? What do they want them to know? What does option number four's person want to say to them? What do they want them to know? What does option number four's person want to say to them? What do they want them to know? Please tell me what does option number four's person want to say to them? What do they want them to know? What does option number four's person want to say to them? This will never end. I am putting others first right now. What does option number four person want to say to them? What do they want them to know? What does option number four person want to say to them? What do they want them to know? We have this relationship isn't going to work for me. It's not personal. We also have, my family doesn't want us together. And can you give me another chance? I want to prove I love you. That's interesting. What does option number three's person want to say to them? What does, any four? What does option number four's person want to say to them? What do they want them to know? What does option number four's person want to say to them? What do they want them to know? What does option number four's person want to say to them? What do they want them to know? What does option number four is person want to say to them? What do they want them to know? What does option number four is person want to say to them? What do they want them to know? What does option number four is person want to say to them? What do they want them to know? What does option number four is person want to say to them? What 
is option number four this person want to say to them? What do they want them to know? What does option number four this person want to say? Let's see what we got so far. All right, so then we have, uh, I fantasize about what life would be like if we were together. I am worried you will stab me in the back. Leaving the karmic would cause too many problems. I'm trying to break up with the karmic. Please wait for me. I can't decide what I want or what's right. I imagine what your kiss feels and tastes like. I'm still planning my next move. I feel stuck. I want to hear from you. I miss you. Then we also have, I'm always thinking about effing you. And we have, I wish I could take back what I said. I'm not sure if you could ever forgive me. Oh, there's a lot of extra ones. I guess I got more than I thought. I think we're soulmates. And then we also have, I'm attracted to your money. But it, it, it's just like abundance. It doesn't mean that you're loaded necessarily. Anyways, that's all that I have for option number four. If you like this kind of reading, please give the video a thumbs up. I appreciate it and it helps me out. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and then hit the bell notification. And if you'd like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the video description below. All right, well, thank you very much, and I hope you all have a wonderful day or night. God bless.